Hey guys, I'm so happy that we have the opportunity to work together and I'm excited that we can continue to work on you planning your future. You know I feel that's very important. No matter how old you are or what grades you are in, it is never too early or too late to plan your future and to make really good decisions. So today we are talking about role models. Now, and I have all my notes here because you know, role models, and I know what it is, but I feel like sometimes I should read. Role models is a person looked to by others as an example or to imitate. And to imitate, in short, means to copy. So why would you want to copy your role model? If you have a role model who is in a position or in a career or has the lifestyle that you want, you want to know how they got there so that you can have the same lifestyle, so that you can imitate or copy what they did. Now, how would you do that? The best way to do that is to investigate. And to investigate, well, that means to get to the bottom of, inspect, analyze, study, examine, consider, research, pour over, delve into, evaluate. So pretty much you're making inquiries as to the character, activities, or background of a person. And you wanna do this so that you can know how they got to the place where they are so that you can do the same thing or something similar. So, um, okay, so let me give you an example before I give you my role model. I wanna give you an example of how you can investigate <clears throat> a person that you admire or who inspires you so that you can do the same thing they did to get where they are. So let's see, who is doing a lot of work right now that we all should know of um, and who's inspiring? Hmm, who's on the news lately? Okay, so maybe if you wanted to become the governor of New York State, a role model that you may pick could be Governor Cuomo. He's doing a great job right now. He's inspiring. He's wonderful to watch. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to investigate Governor Cuomo. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we're gonna type in Governor Cuomo. Let's see. And okay, so um, first of all, his name is Andrew Cuomo. You learn something new every day. <laughs> and for high school, he went, he went to Archbishop Malloy High School in New York. And then he went to Fordham University. Fordham University is a university we spoke about. And then he went to Albany Law School. This is awesome because, you know, I assumed he went to Harvard, but he went to Albany and that's a great school. So that is his education and then you can read on as to um his uh career path and it seems that he worked for a lot of folks actually he worked for bill clinton he worked for the governor in office from 20 2007 to 2010 wow he has a long line a very impressive resume We'll talk about that later. So that's how you research um, someone who inspires you. And if, you know, Governor Cuomo inspired you, you may want to know, okay, what did he study in um, Fordham University? And what did he study or what was it like to go to law school in Albany? And, and what did he have to do to get there? What kind of student was he in, in high school? And what does he do today that makes him inspiring? And that's very easy to see. So I'm going to now give you an example of my role model. My role model, and I actually had to write it down because I want to, you know, you can't always go off the top of your head, AKA the top of your dome. Sometimes you really wanna be specific and that's what I'm asking from you. So my role model is Michelle Obama or Mrs. Michelle Obama. Um, Mrs. Michelle Obama is my role model because she advocates or fights for the poor, education, eating healthy, being healthy, 
and she is married to President Barack Obama. Michelle Obama went to Princeton University where she studied sociology and then she went to Harvard Law School. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to have a takeaway. And a takeaway is something that inspires you. It's something that you learned from your investigation of your role model that will you will apply to your life, that will change your life in a very good way. So my takeaway from Michelle Obama is what I have learned from my takeaway is to always be elegant when communicating with others and to be prepared when I am fighting or in other words, advocating for certain concerns like homelessness in my city. I love how she believes education is important. It inspires me to make sure that I am and remain educated in the things that I care about. That is why I made the decision to go back to school and get a graduate degree in school and mental health counseling because I also advocate for mental health um, in our city. So that's it. I gave you the name of my role model. I gave her you her educational background and I gave you my takeaway or what inspires me about her um, in my life. And even though she's a lawyer and a writer, something else I investigated and found out about, and I am um, studying to be a school counselor or a mental health counselor and working with people, she still inspires me to be the best that I can in my interest and in my passion. And that's why she's my role model because she did it big and I wanna be just like her. So, except my own version. So I want to know who are your role model and what kind of educational background did they have or do they have? And um, what is your takeaway? What inspires you about your role model? Now, your role model can be alive or they could have passed away a long time ago. That could be like, I don't know, like Links and Hughes who passed away like in the, not early 1900s, but I think like mid 1900s, James Baldwin. I'm going to sneeze. I think I'm going to sneeze. Uh, <coughs> allergies and um or it could be someone who's very well much so alive today but it has to be someone who went to college after high school and the reason why it has to be someone who went to college after high school is because this is a college access workshop and so this is all about college and all about planning your future careers so even though you may have a role model who didn't have to go to college, I'm asking you to choose a role, a role model who did go to college and investigate what kind of college they went to and why that is your role model, okay? So once again, it's amazing to work with you all. I wish I could see you, but I will deal with this for now. And I can't wait to read your responses. Don't forget to do the whip around. I really wanna know how you're doing and I'll check in with you soon, bye.